<laughs> Dude, this is the, the sacrifice. This, you can get uh, more faith. It's, it's better. People are happy. You can sacrifice somebody that's kind of evil, that's going to try to destroy your cult from within. Which is super, super useful, but your 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 follower, they hate it. You got the holy day. We, you guys are not going to work. They're going to be super happy to uh, ritual that ocean bounty. You're going to be meeting the fisherman in the first area of the game. You're going to have better fish. This is important for his quest. You're going to have the feasting ritual, which, guys, this is this is by far my favorite. This is, you can try, you can use bone, which are next, have next to no use in the game. And uh, give food to every single follower, so you don't have to cook. Which is kind of good. Which is like the Nightman. Devotion. I don't really use it because we're overpopulated. Which is Resurrection. This is kind of good. I kind of want to do it right now. Uh, wedding. I didn't do a wedding yet. Uh, and she has We're kind of going to bring back somebody to life. Just because I can. Just because I can, guys. I'm seriously in love with Cult of the Lamb. Such an amazing indie game. It was super, super cool. Uh, Cult of the Enki and Navra. He's level 2. Which one should I do? Let's do Cult of the Inky 4. Because Cult of the Inky is somebody that we we actually did. And he's pretty he's pretty good. Uh the strong of you the strength of your followers, sure. You have some traits. You have some traits that are gonna say, oh well I'm I'm good at this, I'm good at that, but it's honestly you look oh no, they're mad now. Oh well. I don't give a fuck. 